Hello everyone, my name is The Last Dragonborn and today we are going to watch a battle between the Principality of Wales and uh, the Holy Roman Empire actually that's uh, cool to be honest, see these two factions battle against each other and uh, we have like uh, 4 units of cavalry on both sides except the... Uh, oh just the... these are all the cavalry, okay uh, three, four units of skirmishers on the Principality of Wales side, uh, two units of, uh, of heavy shock infantry, two units of uh, swordsmen, two units of uh, pole arms, two units of uh, pikemen, and uh, four units of uh, spearmen. On the other side, uh, they have two units of uh, shock infantry, seven units of uh, Six actually, yeah, six uh, of spearmen. They have a lot of light bow, crossbow infantry. What the heck? Six units of light bow, uh, light crossbow infantry, and uh, two units of pole arms. Okay, this is weird. And of course, both have uh, units of heavy shock cavalry, mostly. Yeah. I think the the whale side, the Welsh side has a, a better roster, the units roster to say so. I don't know. It's just so weird to have six units of crossbowmen for what? For what in the world do you want this many archers though? They are not even armored archers or something like that, like hybrid archers, you know. Or something like that. That's so weird. I understand. You can destroy ba basically the this basically the the pole arms and the uh, pikemen. But if you know if the enemy has this kind of roster, you have to advance as the uh, as the Welsh the as the the Welsh here has a lot of. Uh, uh, Pole arms and pikemen. Uh, they should advance fast towards the enemy lines. If they advance, they would the any the enemies would not have a chance to destroy these units. And they keep, just these units can keep fighting a lot if they are not uh, uh, basically uh, outflanked. Oh, I like the flower though. To be honest. This is cool to be honest. are the yeah, Hospitalier Knights, these are the one of the best units in the game, in the mode actually, looking good though, look at this sea of, of cavalry men, yeah they are trying to do that, look at their uh, assignment, they are trying to basically pull down these units, that's a weird tactic to be honest, you must fight like a fighting retreat, to skirmish down these units, you can't ask skirmish down in just a few seconds or just in just few minutes. You can't destroy these units without uh, basically trying to break them. Okay, they are now engaging in the center, I see. Good tactics from the Wales, Welsh side of the Principality of Wales, okay. <laughs> uh, they are engaging now, right now in the center here. As you see. And no longer problem with the archers, you know. That's the back the tactic. And now we just what? You don't have anything to reinforce. And if... if 
surely you'll lose in the center because Paul Arms and uh, Paul Arms basically are better, way better than the Spear Infantry. They are trying to engage somehow. I don't know. Oh no way you did that! Come on, look at this. They are. He's taking now massive casualties because of the skirmishers, and I think the skirmishers weren't supposed to at attack the the, the medium shock infantry. Now they are reduced to one, only 100. Oh no, Welsh have forgot. Welsh, Welsh, or the principality of Wales, better, uh, has forgot to engage the enemy with the cavalry, and that's bad the for men him. Are broken and running for their lives. Well. Okay, it's a bloodbath right now, it's just grinding, and of course they are reinforcing with the Hospitality or Knights unit, and this unit is kind of late to engage this. So if he wins on this flank, he will basically win overall. I don't know, to be honest, it's uh, hard to judge. Of course they will, not, they will not attack these units here, they will attack the general, most likely, but Oh, no you didn't, come on. I think they wanted to attack basically the, the skirmishers, but that didn't do well. <laughs> and now your flank here is about to be saved. Nice play from the Principality of Wales, to be honest. He saved his flank and being. also kept uh, his uh, cavalry here on the left side, to say so. And now he's trying to save his uh, skirmishers. Good, good. That's very good. As I, as I said, the center will collapse soon enough because of the pole arms. And they save the the, the pikemen. That's good. If you'll need it. Nice, nice. And now their cavalry is basically okay. The general. It's a matter of time. The general will fall, the Holy Roman in general. Oh. Yeah, interesting to be honest. Their general is dead. Yeah, he's dead. A lethal blow. Well, they, he played well, but the ro his roast of the Holy Roman Empire was so weird. Why do you want that many of archers? Come on, three units are enough for two units. You don't need that, to be honest. If you don't have like Genoese crossbowmen or basically high tier crossbowmen that are way, way expensive and the whole flank is collapsing basically <laughs> like you see the center has collapsed entirely uh, if you don't have like expensive archers they are not that good you know on dealing damage the Genoese crossbowmen are the best crossbowmen in the mod Our general has died at enemy hands. well the general did his job well done it was uh... Our men have given up and are running for their lives it was expected, to be honest, but uh, because uh, he saved his flank with his cavalry, if he did, if he didn't do that, this side might have uh, been lost. This side here might have been lost by the Principality of Wales, but they did well, you know. They played well. That's good. Oh, press the wrong button, and it's over. It's over. You have just to clean up the rest of the unit. Okay, for some reason the sound stopped. And now you just have to attack the, the crowds movement and it's over. Look at the cavalry here. Basically, yeah, over. Can't do that much. <laughs> this whole unit has fled. Okay, it wasn't that that many troops in. Oh come on, dude! You can't do anything. Just just admit defeat. Well, this is a part of a tournament uh, gameplay that one of my friends played, and uh, he sent me the replays, and I just uh, watched them. Lots of dead here around. Look at the uh, look at the the flags. The people dead here. Well, that's unfortunate. 
yeah, it's just over. These three units are still alive to say so. They'll soon collapse because the the flank is uh, threatened. Okay, it's done. Close defeat. Vitor has eluded the your grasp of the enemy triumphs, but 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 by little. Let's see the results. Okay. For some reason, uh, I haven't saw the results. Oh well. well uh, I think the, the version of the one of the mods of the twelve twelve has been updated or something like that, and uh, because of that, uh, I can see the results. The how many kills the the enemy team or uh, or Wales or Holy Roman Empire did. So yeah, it was a victory for Wales. Well done, Wales. Uh, Wales had indeed a, a good roster, a complex one. He did try. The Holy Roman Empire tried to have like uh, you know many cross moments. Uh, you know because with many cross moments you can destroy pole arms and and basically uh, spearmen, like uh, you saw, but. If the if Wales rushed, you couldn't do anything. As you saw, Wales uh, the Wales uh, has rushed. The well the guy that plays as Wales uh, rushed the the infantry, and well you couldn't do nothing with a crossbow after that. The best way to combat uh, spearmen, pole arms, is basically to have better crossbow men, or uh, you must have uh, basically uh, hand gunners. Hand gunners can help you decimate the enemy units. And uh, well, if you don't have money for that, or your roster can't, uh, uh, it's like if your nation is expensive in, tro in the troops matters to say so, uh, you can't. Uh, buy any hand guns, just try to buy uh, uh, pole arms units and uh, I forgot how they are called uh, basically those kind of, of spearmen you know uh, that uh, helps you the, to hold the line against the uh, other pole arms and uh, spear units so yeah this is all thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one goodbye